Hello, you're watching Base Shade Highlight, a simple guide to painting miniatures. In this video, I'm going to paint Cyclops from Marvel United X-Men. I've already primed in black with a white Zenithal highlight from overhead, so let's get right to it. First, I'll base coat the suit in Magic Blue. They chose my personal favorite version of the costume for this model, the 90s Jim Lee outfit from the comics and animated series. But good luck on seeing this resemblance. I'll be using the art from the cards as a reference throughout this video. Yellow doesn't hide the color underneath it very well, so I take care to avoid painting any of his straps blue to save myself time later on. Next I'll paint his face, the only visible part of his skin. Paint the hair brown. Let's paint the visor lens red before painting the visor. Next is the most tedious step. I'll paint all three sides of the straps with two to three thin coats of yellow until I've got an even coverage. I'm ignoring any mistakes I make along the way. I'll do my touch-ups all at once when I'm done. I forgot to paint these two logos red earlier, so I'll do them now. Brown is a good color to shade yellow with, but if you're not careful, a wash can just make the entire thing look dirty. I've chosen to use soft tone and thinned it down at a ratio of 1 to 1 with an acrylic medium. I found that when thinned, these washes are less prone to staining and easier to work into position. I want more shading in the hair, so I use a darker wash. I'm also going to use a blue wash to shade the suit. I'm not coating the entire outfit with the wash, just applying it to areas that I want darkened.
I outline the two badges with dark gray. After that, I make the dirt muddy brown. I'm not careful around the rocks because I'll dry brush them near the end. There's also a few places in the hair that didn't take the wash as well as I'd like. I'll reinforce those shadows now. At this point, everything has at least a base coat. You could stop painting here, but stick around and let's see what I can do with some extra detail. I'll begin to do that by painting some shadows on the base. Washes have a hard time sticking to flat surfaces, and here I'm touching those shadows up with a darkened yellow. Now I'll begin to highlight the blues by adding in a blue-green mixture to the base color. The light source in the game art is coming from the top left. I'll use that same reference point when applying these highlights. Time to shade the face with tanned flesh. and I'll highlight it with Elf Skin Tone. After looking at it, that highlight looks a bit too bright and unnatural. I'll tone it down by mixing in the base color. While I have it out, I'll mix that color with the leather brown from the hair to create a highlight.
Like I mentioned earlier, washing over yellow can make it look dirty. This is just to clean and brighten it up a bit. Ice yellow is my yellow highlight. A few touch-ups with the base color are in order. I make a quick orange to highlight the lens. It's nearly finished now, but the blue highlights could pop a little more. I add yellow to the previous highlight color. Taking care, I only add enough to brighten it without turning it green. I quickly paint all the rocks on the base by dry brushing them a mid-tone gray. That's followed up with a wash over the entire base. And then another dry brush to highlight, this time using light gray. Lastly, I go around and clean up the rim. 
here is complete. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the website in the description below for a list of all the paints I use and recommend. Thanks for watching.